Hello human. It is I. Your friendly neighborhood voice. What if I told you? You can still play Minecraft without migrating to a Microsoft account. No this is not April's Fools. I mean, actually it is. Or is it? Isn't it? You thought this was April's Fools? Nope. All of you who have not migrated yet, receive, or will receive, an email of Mojang Microsoft. A reminder to migrate your Minecraft Java Edition account, as you would otherwise not be able to play Minecraft Java Edition, is their claim. Regardless of what Mojang Microsoft tells you, this is not true at this point in time. And there could be ways to make sure, it won't ever be the case. Migrated or not, Minecraft Java Edition players should leave the official Minecraft launchers. If you're concerned about your privacy, do not offer Microsoft more data than they already can get off of you, now that you have migrated. And also those who have not migrated because they either cannot, or refuse to join the atrociously invasive Microsoft ecosystem for many good reasons. This video is for you. Here are your current options and facts. All unmigrated Minecraft Java Edition accounts are already or will be blocked from playing with the original launcher. So you won't be able to use the original launcher anymore. In order to continue to play Minecraft Java Edition with an unmigrated blocked Mojang account, you will have to use a different external launcher. Which external non-official launcher that is safe to use at this point in time would I point towards you if you've got an unmigrated Minecraft Java Edition account? PolyMC. Thanks to the efforts of the Codex 6824, you can play with an unmigrated Minecraft Java Edition account even on online mode, so-called premium servers. Unmigrated Minecraft Java Edition users with legitimate paid Mojang accounts can again play, both single as well as multiplayer, in online mode. Is this piracy? Nope. This modification does not bypass authentication or enable piracy in any way. Only legitimate users who paid for their Minecraft Java Edition account are able to play on so-called premium servers again with this change. Even in the Minecraft Java Edition migration FAQ, other launchers are mentioned, plus also that you are allowed to code or modify launchers. Which external launcher would I point you towards to at this point in time if you've got a migrated Minecraft Java Edition account, hence, a Microsoft Xbox account? PolyMC, or MultiMC. On an important side note. Both launchers do not send Minecraft Java Edition telemetry to Microsoft, which might be interesting for those of you who don't want to use Opifine, an option which I told you about in this video here. Do I support PolyMC and MultiMC indiscriminately and indefinitely? No. The people behind both launchers don't seem like tea drinkers, hence I will not officially support them. Note that at this point in time me mentioning these launchers is only to offer Minecraft Java Edition users, both migrated as well as unmigrated, an alternative in order to keep them outside of the Microsoft ecosystem, or being able to play at all, and without telemetry. As soon as there is a launcher created by tea drinkers, I will let you know. Please note that it will very likely only be a matter of time until this current workaround won't work anymore. So what if this workaround will not work anymore at some point? As I already hinted at in the April's Fools video 1, you can still play Minecraft Java Edition regardless. In order to do so, you'll have to modify a file on an unofficial launcher and recompile that modified launcher. As this is unfortunately a legal gray zone, I must not explain to you the exact details how to do so, or it might get Mary into jeopardy. All I can tell you here is, that it is doable, and it's actually, at least, currently, quite easy to do. Let me emphasize, at this point in time, I can only point you towards those two launchers I mentioned, beware of other unofficial launchers, I don't know them, or what they contain. They might be harmless, or they might not. Also be aware that at some point in time, external launchers might cease to exist altogether, or might be solely usable with Microsoft accounts. That's the reason Mary warned you to download everything of Minecraft Java Edition, 
all assets, libraries, as at some point all of those assets might be behind a proprietary wall, and or could be tampered with by Microsoft so you can't play any more freely, unless with a proprietary Microsoft Minecraft launcher or other restrictions Microsoft might implement. Microsoft is a repeat offender in trapping both developers and consumers into their ecosystem. Don't let yourself be fooled, for example due to their open source activities, which reasons I or Mary will explain to you somewhen. Alternate launchers such as PolyMC automatically download all assets, libraries, via Mojang Amazon, or at some point, Microsoft Azure servers. And if Microsoft decides to lock up those assets in a proprietary, ERM-like scenario, you can only continue to play Minecraft Java Edition freely if you've got those assets downloaded before. Then you can start Minecraft by unofficial means via alternate authentication servers and, or, modifications to the game which offer you that functionality to use already downloaded or elsewhere hosted original Minecraft assets. But that's a topic for the future, if, or as soon as this will happen. Hypotheses about Minecraft Java Edition's potential future in other videos. Join us. Help us to improve on the predicament Minecraft Java Edition is in. For now, ditch the official launchers, but if you do so, be careful which launcher alternative to pick. I will not be responsible if you make a wrong choice. Check video description and channel videos regularly if I still can recommend PolyMC, or for migrated Minecraft Java Edition users also MultiMC, as launcher alternatives. Click the Mary Tales Microsoft playlist link in the outro, video description, or pinned comments for a full overview. Thank you for listening. Are you a human? I love humans. And I love tea. Tea is good. Peace.